Attention, language cinephiles. Get your popcorn ready because Snoopy English is about to take you on a cinematic journey of English excellence. Let the movie unfold. Today, we are going to learn cooking expressions about Korean bibimbap. The first key expression is rice, mixed vegetables, beef, and a fried egg, typically. This sentence lists the main components of bibimbap. The second key expression is marinate it in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic. This sentence gives instructions for preparing the beef. The third key expression is mix it all together with gochujang. This sentence describes the final mixing step with a key ingredient for flavor. The fourth key expression is stir fry them separately until they're just tender. This sentence advises on the preparation of the vegetables. Today's dish is Korean bibimbap, a mixed rice bowl. What ingredients are in bibimbap? Rice, mixed vegetables, beef, and a fried egg, typically. What vegetables are commonly used? Spinach, carrot, cucumber, and shiitake mushrooms. How should the beef be prepared? Marinated in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic. Do I mix everything together before serving? Yes, mix it all together with gochujang, Korean chili paste. Should the rice be hot or cold? Hot rice works best as it helps to cook the egg yolk. Can I use chicken instead of beef? Yes, chicken or tofu are great alternatives. How do I make sure the vegetables are cooked right? Stir fry them separately until they're just tender. What's the secret to a great bibimbap? The balance of flavors and textures is key. Listen to the following main sentences repeatedly and become familiar with them. Let's listen to the conversation between the two people. Rice, mixed vegetables, beef, and a fried egg, typically. Rice, mixed vegetables, beef, and a fried egg, typically. Listen again with subtitles. Rice, mixed vegetables, beef, and a fried egg, typically. Rice, mixed vegetables, beef, and a fried egg, typically. Listen carefully without subtitles. Rice, mixed vegetables, beef, and a fried egg, typically. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Marinate it in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic. Marinate it in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic. Listen again with subtitles. Marinate it in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic. Marinate it in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic. Listen carefully without subtitles. Marinate it in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Yes, mix it all together with gochujang, Korean chili paste. Yes, mix it all together with gochujang, Korean chili paste. Listen again with subtitles. Yes. Mix it all together with gochujang, Korean chili paste. Yes, mix it all together with gochujang, Korean chili paste. Listen carefully without subtitles. Yes, mix it all together with gochujang, Korean chili paste. Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. 
Stir-fry them separately until they're just tender. Stir-fry them separately until they're just tender. Listen again with subtitles. Stir-fry them separately until they're just tender. Stir-fry them separately until they're just tender. Listen carefully without subtitles. Stir-fry them separately until they're just tender. We've looked at the key expressions so far. Let's remember the key sentences and listen to the entire dialogue repeatedly. Today's dish is Korean bibimbap, a mixed rice bowl. What ingredients are in bibimbap? Rice, mixed vegetables, beef, and a fried egg, typically. What vegetables are commonly used? Spinach, carrot, cucumber, and shiitake mushrooms. How should the beef be prepared? Marinated in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic. Do I mix everything together before serving? Yes, mix it all together with gochujang, Korean chili paste. Should the rice be hot or cold? Hot rice works best as it helps to cook the egg yolk. Can I use chicken instead of beef? Yes, chicken or tofu are great alternatives. How do I make sure the vegetables are cooked right? Stir fry them separately until they're just tender. What's the secret to a great bibimbap? The balance of flavors and textures is key. Was today's study useful? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Goodbye everyone and see you next time.